Hey guys. So it's been a while. Here's the tanks for you new viewers. It's been maybe three weeks already. So what I wanted to do today is just show you a few things that are happening in all my tanks. I'll just give you a little update. As you can see there, the leather is almost dropping and something really cool is happening in my 10 gallon with my Arizona Sunset. And we're gonna show you what's happening with that today. I also wanted to show you my refugium and a few other things. This is an Australian toadstool leather here, and this is the way they reproduce. Those of you who haven't followed my channel, they'll, over time, if they're healthy, they'll begin to drop these little sections. If you look to the lower left, you'll see one that's already attached. There it is right there. And then this one will fall very soon. I don't want to cut it because they're super sensitive for me. So what I'm going to do is just allow it to fall off. And when it falls off, I'll track it down and maybe put that one in my 10 gallon. It's a really nice coral. It's sensitive. It comes in and out a lot, but it's been uh, reproducing like this about every two to three months or so. And this has done it a couple times uh, since I've had it in the 75 gallon. 75 gallon has been up and running for about a year and six months now. All right, so you guys have followed me. This is my Arizona Sunset bubble tip anemone. And if you notice something unusual about it, it's starting to stretch out a little bit. And I was saying to myself, what's going on with this thing? It looks like it's moving, but it looks like the foot on the left how could it be matched up with the foot on the right? That's quite a long stretch. And I came back a few hours later and sure enough, it's splitting. And you can see it here, it's split from the other one and it's almost being held on there by a thread of the one of the larger anemones. The one from the right is the older part and the one on the left is the newer part. And I think I'm gonna come right in here and. You can see it's just a thread. So that was really exciting. I've never had a bubble tip that's split like this. I've actually never had a bubble tip this pretty before. And I think it's due to the feeding. I've been feeding it every day with slow sinking pellets by Sustainable Aquatics, but I'm soaking them in Cellcom, which is high in B vitamins. I think it's got C. It's just really enriched and it makes the food enriched. So here it is a few hours later. This all happens within maybe three or four hours and it's completely separated now. It's really like a clone. The one on the left is the size of when I got the other one and now it's splitting. So I'm gonna keep feeding both of them and see what happens. Uh, back in the 75, this is the blue-green chromis. And when this happens, it's usually a, a case of harassment or some form of uh, schooling issue. But my concern was this is one of the larger fish. Usually it takes place with one of the smaller ones in the school. So I'm thinking one of my other fish, maybe the tang or fox face, are harassing this fish. This isn't a good sign when they're off on their own. It didn't come up and eat the last couple days, but I'll have to keep an eye on it. Looks like there's some scale damage there. So anyway, this is what's going on with my blue-green chromis over here. So this is not good at all. This was a few days later. Now two of them are over there. So my guess is that this is a larger fish. I'm thinking my fox face may uh, almost be getting too large for my tank. I don't know if it's getting harassed by that. And you can see the yellow tang there. He's very aggressive also. So we'll have to keep an eye on these two. I'm hoping that it doesn't continue. All right, let's look up at the refugium here. This feeds my 75 gallon, those of you who are new to the channel. Uh, and I've just pulled out a large amount of chato from this. That Kenya tree just came in with the grossalaria that I took from my 10 gallon. So I grow that in both tanks. 
and this was really full just a day or so ago it was completely full I pulled this out and this has been doing really well for nutrient export I'm not so sure how much of the pods are getting down to the 75 gallon there's lots in here for sure and uh, this has been doing really well I would recommend a refugium on any kind of tank uh, other than a real small nano, but I have a refugium on my 20 gallon. Those of you who follow me know that. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that. Oh, what I have over here is what I do when I clean the refugium glass or stir it up. I put this shrimp net over it so that way when anything flows down uh, out of the tank after I disrupt it, you know, it's got all sorts of stuff that could go into the 75 gallon. I put this over it. All right, this is a couple days later. I'm noticing that my blue-green chromis are up swimming around where they normally do. See, one is in the leather there. The other one is there. I have four of them. The other two are probably hiding. You guys that follow me know I started with like nine or ten over a year and a half ago. And it's an issue I've had before. It's schooling. You know, over time, they one takes the dominant role and attacks the others. Um, you know, it's hit or miss. I could keep putting a few more in. I may do that because I really like the way they look and uh, I'll give it another try. Probably a much larger tank, maybe double the size of a 75 would probably keep them going. Now here's the leather coral on the right there. I'm going to zoom in on that. About a month or maybe almost two months ago, I cut a large portion out on that and it's really growing in well. Uh, it's all healed and there's some of the polyps are growing up out of the healed section. If you notice on the right there, the green star polyp has done this. It's been doing this for maybe about a month and a half now. Uh, they've somewhat retracted and they haven't come out. This has happened to me before. It happened in my 10 gallon. It lasts sometimes two or three months and then it'll uh, go back to the way it was, it'll start to come back out. So that's the update on some of the things in the 75. This is pretty cool. This just happened yesterday before this video. It looks like excrement, but look really close. Do you see the cloudy form drifting out? That's spawning. So I don't know whether, I haven't seen it spawn with the long stringy thing. It's just in the past spawned with this cloudy kind of substance that comes out of the center of the rock flower here. So this is very cool. I actually had these spawn and start to grow right next to it when I had these in my five gallon. So there's a green one around the corner. These are about three, four years old now. So see you on the next one, guys.